My, what a beautiful place. I can't fathom how anyone managed to construct something so large. You will sometimes encounter black birds in the cage, and you should do what you can to shoo them all out. If you do that, Mama will give you a nice surprise. Well, here's the second one. Are you ready? Wherever people gather, Stories come with them. But saloons have a special ability to loosen even the tightest of lips. Such rumors are what brings the woman with the mechanical arm and leg to this place. For she is a bounty hunter in search of her prey. she obtains from the patron seems vague, but it is more than enough. Gathering herself, she exits the saloon in pursuit of her target. A lone bounty hunter blocks the woman's path. His breath is ragged and foul, his eyes a pair of tiny beads. Give me all your money, he howls. I'll cut down everything in my way. is over in a moment. The woman's sigh is carried off by the wind. No mediocre highwayman could hope to stand against her desire for revenge. The woman heads for the forest in pursuit of her target.
We collect stories in order to regain what you have lost. But we also do it to make your wish come true. So let's keep it up. Slow and steady wins this race. I should tell you a little bit about the cage. It's a truly massive structure. Where you woke up. And this sandy area here are just small parts of it. To be honest, a great deal of the cage is a mystery. I'm not even certain who gave it that name. searching for food. The expression on his bandaged face is clouded. The grasses rustle ominously as they part. It seems the man is not the only one to search for food. The animals in this place are lean, starving, desperate. And they will do what they must to survive. Secured his prize, the man returns to the church. The sound of his worn boot heels echoes throughout the dilapidated chapel. A boy lies at the back 
his face drawn and haggard. The man kneels down and offers some of the food he collected. But the boy is too weak to hold it. His body will not allow him to accept even this meager meal. The boy tries to brush it off with a feeble smile, but the man just stares down at him in silence. To think that poor sick child had to travel the wastes in his condition. Still, we've restored the third memory now. If we can collect the next one, it will mark the end of the staff's tale. Goodness, this place is nothing but stairs. I hope your little legs are okay. Still, I suppose it does allow us to see some rather lovely views. Be sure to rest whenever you start to feel tired, child. Someone once said resting is the shortcut to success after all. It's so bright here. Ah, oh, there's the fourth one. We should be able to enter the final memory here. People who arm themselves tend to find their way into a fight. I fear you will have to face a good deal of death from now on. Are you ready? The woman who set out from town finally arrives at a wild wood. Soon, she comes across the ruins of a once proud church. The ceiling has collapsed, the walls mere suggestions. But in the very back of the church, she finds a deteriorated clockwork soldier, as well as the corpse of a boy. As the woman approaches, the clockwork soldier suddenly rises. He levels his weapon at her and lets fly with a fearsome power. I'll cut down everything in my way.
We won't lose. Accesses the logs of the fallen soldier. Boy was a prince, driven from his kingdom. The clockwork soldier traveling with him was his guardian and his friend. But alas, the boy's disease worsened and he perished. Now alone, the man remained behind continued to safeguard his charge, killing any who dare approach the body. For a hundred years, the man stood watch, their kingdom fallen, his body rust, his mind shadow. Yet still he remained to protect his friend. The woman builds a grave to mourn the pair, and leaves the forest without a word. driven away from his own country. And before breaking down, the machine tried so hard to guard his master's body. <sighs> this memory marks the end of the story they left behind inside this staff. Well done, child. Do you see how the proper story is now stored inside the staff? is Will, one of the lost fragments that you should be collecting. Up the stairs now. We still have a long way to go. You have a long road ahead of you, so you'll need to increase your power. Hmm, where should I start? Actually, it would be much... It's mostly the same as any other game.
Well done. You can also enhance allies and weapons, but...
The road splits here. Mama thinks we should go right, because it's the right way. Hmm, but left also might be the right way. If it wasn't clear by now, Mama doesn't actually know. started on its restoration, shall we? Once. Two sisters with lovely ebon hair lived in a lush and verdant land. They hunted for food in the forest and did their best to each support the other. sister had been born in the woods and was an archer of rare skill. When their parents died, she began teaching the younger how to hunt. The younger looks up to her and wants so badly to test out her new skills. This thought fills the older sister with warmth as she follows after her sibling. Her sibling hears a beast cry out in the direction of her little sister. She sets off after her at a frantic pace. The savage beast looms over the prone girl and makes to attack. I'll cut down everything in my way. Likely. tender flesh, it turns tail and flees. There was no way her little sister could have taken down the massive creature alone.
Trying to calm her, the woman removes her silver hairpin and places it on her sister. It is a keepsake of their mother, one the young girl has long desired. Thanks, sis, she says, beaming. Next time, it'll be my turn to protect you. This weapon is all about that woman. I feel like we've seen her somewhere before. 